Morning guys, how is your day going? It is 6.45 right now. My parents at the farmer's market. I did not go guys. It's cold, it was raining, so I wouldn't be able to get cool, cool video for you guys anyways, so. Yeah, I'm just watching a little bit of YouTube. Um, guys, Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. Oh, it is perfect. Oh yeah. Like, I'm, I think it just came out, or <clears throat> it didn't come out, I don't think, yet. Um, I think Markiplier just got like an early, what do you call him? I don't know. Early release for him, I don't know. He got to play it early before the game actually came out. So, um, whenever it does come out, I'm definitely getting it, because that game is like so awesome. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm not good at French. It's going up in about an hour and eight minutes. Guys, my, title late, my titles lately have sucked. Because I don't know what else to call them. I don't know. Like, there's nothing really happening in the vlog that I can title it that's fun and exciting. And uh, so, I don't know. Not clickbait. I'm not trying to do clickbait. Clickbait is whenever title and thumbnail or just title or just thumbnail have nothing to do with the vlog. Uh, yeah, I know I haven't really been putting the thumbnails in lately that match up with what happened in the title and stuff. But, I don't know. I just, I don't have time to do that. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, just... Save to the computer. Um, my titles lately have just been weak. It's not clickbait. I just try to get it so you guys might be curious and actually want to see. I usually give like the main highlight, what the fun thing was, and then you guys will know, okay, that's the one. You just click on it. But anyways. Um, yeah, I'm just watching some YouTube here, so I'm going to catch up on that. We've got all day to vlog, guys, so it's pretty awesome. We'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Hey, guys, so now it is 8.17. <laughs> and uh, I'm still coughing after that cold. It's crazy. Crazy how long those things can hold on. But my throat doesn't feel sore. It's just got a little bit of an itch. Time for a French vanilla, guys. I was 24 hours, more than 24 hours without a French vanilla. <coughs> now, <clears throat> yes, I am sort of in a way. Okay, you know what? Caffeine is a drug. Okay, let's face it. Caffeine is a drug that's legal. People get addicted to it, uh, like coffee and stuff. But I. I only like it because it's like the taste and it's nice and warm. That's only why. It's not like, oh, I need that caffeine to wake me up. Sometimes it's like, yeah, it's nice to sort of wake me up in the morning before I go to school so I can actually go to school, dress properly. So, like, I don't know. If I was tired, I'd probably, like, put my shirt on backwards or something. You know what I mean? Like, it'd be nice just to have a little bit of a boost. But at the same time, I know that it's bad for you. And that's why I'm cutting back on them a lot. Um, but I just don't want you guys to... Th think that I'm like addicted in the way of like you know I can't go like a full week without it I'd die without it like I'd go crazy without one I really don't it's sort of I whenever I say that to my friends like it's a joke hopefully they understand that but um yeah no I just I just like French vanilla it's just like some people like coffees um I'm I'm a French vanilla person I like my tea so you know I'm gonna drink it but 24 hours without it. Um, I just wanted to cut back a little bit so I wasn't, you know, constantly having it. Um, I'm not going to have Mr. Noodles today. Um, I'm sort of just going to cut back on a lot of the junk that I eat and drink. But yeah, I remember the first day that I had a French vanilla and I didn't... It wasn't my favorite. I sort of had that coffee taste. Now I don't taste any coffee. Um, it was actually my Aunt Sharon who had one. I thought it was like a hot chocolate. This was whenever I was probably six. Six, like maybe even, I don't know. Yeah, probably six, six years old, six, five or six years old uh, that I had my first one. No, I wouldn't be five. I might have been at least, <clears throat> at least five. It was at least five years old. And uh, I just had one. I thought it tasted like garbage for just a little bit, but it was from like a different store. And then I thought whenever I was probably... I don't know, like eight, or you know what I mean? I know I couldn't have been five. I wouldn't have been five years old drinking that. Um, probably seven, six, seven, or eight years old is whenever I had my first one. Out of those three years is whenever I had my first French vanilla. And I didn't, I sort of liked it because it was like a hot chocolate. And um, so I, <clears throat> I forget if I kept, I didn't keep drinking it. It's just she'd bring like, you know, one, let me have a few sips and whatever. And I really liked it because, you know, we didn't get French or get hot chocolate that often, so I liked it whenever we didn't. But uh, then whenever I was... I didn't, I didn't, I just started drinking them like a lot. And, um, yeah, I was probably 10 whenever I started like actually liking them and not tasting that coffee taste. 
and I started getting them at Tim Hortons and then it carried on but we just started buying these little cans of the mix maybe like two years ago three years ago maybe but uh, yeah like they're just really nice if you don't have a Tim Hortons near you and uh, then we got the hot chocolate too but yeah I like the French vanilla so that's the story on how I started drinking French vanilla is it all started with one day if I wasn't there that one day I probably wouldn't be drinking them right now but I might have been but I probably wouldn't have been and uh, yeah it was my aunt Sharon so my aunt Sharon's fault no I can't blame it on her but yeah it, it was my fault because I asked and then you know things happen also I've been taking two up to it says in between one and four vitamin C's a day you're supposed to take that's what it says on the side um, so I've been taking two in the morning and then two at night every day and I've been feeling great like the vitamin C tablet sort of things um, like the chewy, not like the gummies, but like the stuff you chew on, sort of like, it's not like a pill, it's not hard that you swallow, you chew on it, but it's not a gummy. It's like the Flintstone vitamins, just not Flintstones, but that's like the texture that it is. So I've been taking those a uh, day, at least, I've had at least one a day. Um, just to sort of keep my immune system going, keep my body going healthy, um, so then I don't need to, sorry, I'm just stirring this. Um, so then I can like reduce the risk of a cold because I don't want to get that again. Especially while vlogging and being in high school. High school is terrible. So is elementary for getting sick because you know like you missed a lot of things you were supposed to prepare for for high school. But now that you're actually in high school doing the stuff that they told you about, it's scary and you don't want to miss too many days. I think the maximum is like 10 or something. I heard something like that um, from one of the teachers. So you know. Uh, because I'm terrible, like I, whenever I was little I used to get sick so often and um, I used to get tonsillitis, it was terrible, like seriously terrible, like I missed, I think, mm, in total, out of all the months put together in like the weeks, I think I missed like two months, no, no, was that another kid? Yeah, no, 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 never mind, it wasn't, it was probably two weeks, a month, a month maybe. In total, month and a half, um, because it was just terrible. Like whenever you have tonsillitis, you, like, you can't really talk all day. Like it sucks, and the doctors just would not take out my tonsils for whatever reason, because you know they have to change everything. Oh, it was just terrible, and uh, I used to get that. Just didn't matter what time of year it was. It wasn't like the cold, or you get that in the fall or whatever. In the winter, I got it like in the spring, summer, any time, um, and I probably got it like I don't know twice a year and it was just terrible guys so I missed a lot of that school but now that I'm actually in high school it's like I, I really have to learn to suck it up but I just can't get sick so you know hopefully I don't like start throwing up like I did uh that was this year hopefully I don't go through that again anytime soon because I was terrible too up all night for like and then I slept was that this year I think it was this year that I slept like from Tuesday to Thursday because I slept like a whole day basically. It sucked. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm just sort of going through Instagram here. That's my video that I posted of Uncle Adams. Is my camera like all fogged up or something? I'm sorry if it was like that the whole time that I was talking, guys. I really apologize. Is that better? So a lot of you, I'm not sure if I mentioned it really in the vlogs much. A lot of you are probably confused as to why I put like Vlogtober. Um, and it's like already the 8th or 9th of October. That's because um, I don't, just like Vlogmas, I don't start right on December 1st sometimes. Like sometimes I just think of it after the first day. So um, yeah, I started a thing called a Vlogtober. It's basically just like for the month of October. We're just doing October style Thanksgiving-ish uh, vlogs. So it's basically just a new season um, of vlogging. So yeah, today is already Vlogtober day three. I believe day three um, but yeah so that's all I really had to say I just wanted to clear that up a little tiny bit um, because some of you guys might have been confused but I posted it to Instagram too so if you guys haven't already please follow me on Instagram because some of the updates for this channel I might not say on this channel I might just say on the, uh, my Instagram and stuff so go like that and or go like it go follow me make sure uh, you guys can get caught up on all the details Okay guys, so I just went out, it's 1.59, so basically 2 o'clock. Check out all the wood that we got. We went with Shane, it's a surprise for my mom and dad. 
chain's not gone yet. We took his truck. We got a whole bunch of wood. The whole woodshed's almost full. There's just like a little bit uh, of space left, but there's no wood left. So that's all of our wood for the winter. All done. So my dad doesn't have to go do more stuff because he's already doing enough. So yeah, we just thought we'd help out. They didn't even know that I was here. They were going to do it with all of us gone as a surprise. But uh, yeah, I was just here vacuuming a little bit, cleaning stuff up. I got the mat a little dirty, but yeah, just put the tablecloths over there, cleaned up. I was going to light this for whenever they got home, but there's no matches around that I can find. So yeah, so I was going to have a nice little thing ready for them, but nothing that I can cook them besides Mr. Noodles. I guess I can cook them some soup, but it's, I don't know if they're going to want it or not. Like we got spaghetti. Um, we got alphabet, got craft dinner, um, alpha gitties. Um, we got tomato soup, mushroom soup. Yeah, maybe they actually will want something. I don't know. We'll have to see. I want something now. I'm hungry. But, uh, yeah, we were out, we left at 12.30 and it's 2 o'clock now that we just, we just, just finished, so. Uh, Haley's cousins are over, uh, Paige, and there's another one. I don't think I've met him before, but it's her mom and stuff and they came over. So they're just down at the haunt, they're checking that out, uh, seeing if they enjoy it, seeing if they like it, but I'm not sure if I already showed you guys this. Yeah, I have, I have showed you guys this, but I'm loving this. This massage chair it's not like the whole chair but just like this little cloth massage thing it has such a nice little heater in here it's like heated it's got like these little points here that like massage you oh it feels so good my back is always so like tense and i can never get it like untense <laughs> um but here i'm gonna turn on light there we go there we go um yeah so my back's always tense so it like loosens right up so it feels so good but um yeah you know what i'm gonna have some spaghetti no, I'm gonna have a hot chocolate because I feel like having that with marshmallows. <sighs> Mine will look even better than that. Anyways, guys, yeah, uh, Shane asked me why, did, why I didn't vlog there, but like, there was seriously no time. I mean, they did take pictures really quick for Instagram and stuff, but uh, yeah, it's just loaded right up here. Looks nice anyways, but. So we're just gonna kind of raw vlog uh, the rest of this. Um, I'm not really sure what to say right now because there's nothing really happening. So that's like, exciting and uh, I know raw vlog means like you know you raw vlog even the boring stuff but there's nothing there's things that are less than boring that I can't even show you guys like I'm literally just sitting around on my phone so that I, that I can't vlog I'm not gonna vlog my whole time on my phone but uh, I'm gonna make my bed actually so my parents are now back was it a busy day very busy so I'm gonna try something new it's called pizza pockets poutine that's so strange really? I've never yeah Okay guys, so the sun is shining and it is still raining just a little bit so check out this huge rainbow like this is huge it's So bright water's dripping on barrels. Holy cow. It's doubled. It's double. Look how big this thing is Holy cow. It's so bright too Wow Look at it. It's like doubled right there. That is so cool. Holy cow, and it goes all the way over. Like, look at how bright this thing is. Can you guys see that? Wonder if there's a pot of gold over there. Wow. That's crazy. Hey? Wow. Look how crazy this is. So this is the rainbow we got going here. Okay guys, so I sort of got sidetracked last night and I didn't end off that vlog, so I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big like. Don't forget to subscribe. You're all very awesome. Thank you so much for coming in and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.